Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Zealous FX and this is a tutorial to show you some slideshow settings within PowerPoint and how they work. If you look in the slideshow settings over here, you can already see that there are a lot of options. The resolution, most people won't change and I'm not going to change that. But that's just pretty much how much PowerPoint will render on your screen. So if I did it by 640 by 480, all of the animations in the screen would be super fast and very you know snappy they won't be laggy if I did it at 1920 by 1080 which is my screen resolution it would be slower even though I wouldn't notice a difference because I'm, I'm on, on a pretty powerful system but it would still be slower on other computers so normally most people won't change this because if you've got a 1080p monitor then most of the time your computer is pretty decent here we've got some other settings record narration and rehearse timings I don't normally go to these three but I will show you setup show and hide slide quickly hide slide is something where you could store some notes you could say uh, main menu slide to equals contents or something like that and then you can use that for a reference but hide the slide and essentially slide 2 will become slide 1 because it will skip this slide unless you link straight to it so if you don't link straight to this slide, it will never come up. It's like a ghost slide or something. And then in the setup show, it's a bit more complicated. Now presented by a speaker means that it will go in full screen and any button will move to the next slide. That is quite simple. And this is what most people will always use because it's the default. Then the browse by an individual will put up the slideshow as an individual. So if I OK, then I put this up. Now you can see that it's an individual. It's like a uh, thing. Oh, hopefully I didn't use arrow shake. But I can use the slides through the slideshow, or you can just disable the slideshow. Then I can get out of that. Now, browse the kiosk is awesome. It's awesome. Because if you are creating a PowerPoint game, you don't want people just using the right button to skip levels or something in that. So if you use browse the kiosk, no matter what you do, you won't be able to you won't be able to pretty much move anywhere unless there's a link to another slide so if I create this that says uh, level one and imagine there is some form of PowerPoint game here I'll get into that in another tutorial then people can't just press the right button on the arrow key to skip to another level or something they have to finish that level and then they have to do it because PowerPoint will only accept triggers or action settings to another slide to move in kiosk mode. Graphics hardware acceleration. Sometimes this can mess up your presentation. So most people will keep this unchecked. But if your graphics card is really pretty powerful, like some NVIDIA GTX something, you might as well click this if your PowerPoint is running slow, if your processor is showing that it can't handle so fast. But I keep this off because normally it's okay. Multiple monitors, it will show you which monitor to display the slideshow on. I don't have a second monitor set up right now. And it will also show you if it's on the second slideshow, you can put a presenter view on this slide. In presenter view, you get a overview of all of your slides, which is cool. Now show slides, you can choose the slides to show within the um, PowerPoint. So if I only want to show slides 4 to 12, I can just go 4 to 12. And I'm pretty sure it will never go into slides 1 to 3 or 12 to whatever you've got. And custom show is another option which is a lot more confusing because you can create shows inside of PowerPoint, which are very useful for games, but I don't actually see any use for them in a normal presentation, which I'm trying to help with. And that's pretty much the slideshow settings. Thank you for watching. Bye.